By now, I'm sure most of you have heard the very disappointing news that Multiverses announced just yesterday via Twitter. In case you haven't, here's what they said. We heard you, MVPs. To help you reach the end of the current Battle Pass, players will get Battle Pass XP boost items, plus Season 2 is now extended until March 31st. Like, what the hell is that? No, oh, that, oh, that is terrible. That is, why a month and a half extend, what? That's terrible. But finishing the tweet, peep new items in your inventory and a new tier purchasing functionality for faster progress. All right, cool. I like the idea of the, the, the being able to purchase tiers. That's a cool thing. And in case you didn't hear or uh, are wondering, the tiers are going to cost 100 gleamium each, thanks to our friendly neighborhood data miner, Lysol, with that information. So there you go. There's your news. But here's 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 my issue. Here's where I'm I'm worried about multiverses. So if we look at past seasons, if we look at the end of season one and the beginning of season two, they happened on the exact same day. Now I'm sure, and if I'm not mistaken, the end of preseason which was, well, I mean, that got extended too, but the end of preseason and the start of season one, did that not also happen the exact same day? So if we're going to apply that to the end of season two, which season two was supposed to end next Tuesday, February 14th, meaning season three was supposed to begin next Tuesday. That's less than one week from when they tweeted out this random, oh, by the way, the season's going to be extended a month and a half. This seems like such a last minute panic decision and the reason i say that is again if season three was beginning next tuesday did they even have any content ready for season three were we going to get another beginning season two where it's just like hey here's a new season and here's a battle pass and then that's it like what's going on here why do why do you need to extend it by an extra month and a half here's an easier solution extend it to the end of february which will only be an extra two weeks, but that's going to be two more weeks of extra seasonal challenges, and seasonal challenges each give you 600. They could even change it up and give them 1,200 if they really wanted to. They could double your daily and your seasonal challenge XP that you earn. They could have done something like that. Even turn on and leave it for permanent. Make it permanent. Double battle pass XP earned after every match. Just leave that on for the end of, till the end of Season 2. Like, this could have been handled so much better, but the, the time frame, the extra month and a half, really has me worried. Season 3 was supposed to begin next week, but now they have to delay it an extra month and a half, which to me kind of signals they had next to nothing ready. Like, I get some people will say, yo, bro, let them chill. Let them cook in the kitchen. Do, you know, you got to chill out a little bit. Have some patience. Yeah, patience can only go so far. Look, I can be a patient man, and I've been, uh, I've been pretty much kind of... I won't say I'm defending it because I've been critical of the game, but uh, I, you know, I'm I'm along for the ride. I've been one of the earliest people to jump on the bandwagon. You know, before this was even an official announcement of a game, I was making videos on multiverses. So I, I I'm here for it, but I'm so worried. They had nothing for season. The way I'm reading this, they had nothing. Season three wasn't ready, so they had to delay it but they tried to hide it behind a battle pass extension for season two. That's, that's the way I'm reading it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I'm reading it. And that's why I'm very, very worried. Now, sure. The multiverse's data miner Lysol has told us many things about characters and couple stages, but for example, they've told us about the animated, the WB water tower stage. We've heard about that since September and we still don't have that in the game. So who knows when any of these characters that have been data mined are ever going to drop? Wasn't the Wicked Witch and Beetlejuice, weren't they very close to dropping? Like, and that was back in October. We're now in February and we still haven't gotten them. Like, is the content even ready? Like what's, what's going on? I, uh, I'm, I'm worried. I'm very worried, but something that would help ease the worry. Here is a tweet that I seen and it kind of helps kind of sum up a little bit. And this, a lot of people are feeling this way, but this would help get people feeling a little bit better about our current situation. So here's the tweet context and reassurance is all you need to give to the player base for them to not feel cheated. Are we going to get any sort of update or content before then, meaning the end of season two, which is now 
March 31st. Are we going to get anything? I, they haven't told us that. So an answer to that question will put a lot of people at ease with all the radio silence. This tweet is indeed in bad taste. And yes, a lot of us have a very bad, sour taste in our mouth right now. So at the time of recording, Multiverses has not tweeted out anything, giving us a time frame for the next actual content into the game. And I don't mean, oh, here's four new cosmetic skins. No, I'm talking actual content, new character, a new stage, a new game mode, a new something, please, please, something. They haven't given us nothing, and um, for them to just randomly tweet out the announcement that they did yesterday was so... It feels like it was a panic move on my part. That's just how I feel. So hopefully, hopefully they give us something. Put us at ease. Please help us out, because I don't care if you're a pro multiverses, not like a multiverses pro, but I don't care if you're a defender of multiverses, and no matter what they do, they can't be wrong, but you can't deny the multiverses player base has been shrinking month over month i'm not saying the game is dead no because you can find a match easily i've never taken more than 10 maybe 15 seconds to find a match there's plenty of people that still play this game but again you can't deny that the player base is shrinking month over month and with this random announcement of hey we're extending season two And we really haven't gotten a lot for season two. So if that's going to continue, if we're not going to get a lot of content for the rest of the season, which is now an extra month and a half, the player base is going to shrink even further. And then you think all the multiverses is a dead game. Topics and comments are bad now. Oh, just wait for another couple weeks. They're only going to get worse. So multiverses needs to do something to reassure the players New content is coming, but don't make it a generic statement. Don't be like, oh, yeah, we, we're we work, guys, we're working. Yeah, but on what? When can we expect to give us something a little bit more concrete? Just please help us out here. Like, we can be patient, but patience runs out. So I know this isn't usually the type of video I make, but um, I've had all day to think about this. And uh, I am genuinely worried about multiverses. They delayed season three because they think they had nothing ready for season three. I'm not saying that they haven't been working on anything, but I don't feel like anything was ready to release. So I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll wait to read the comments on what you guys think about this whole topic.